You know, once you can get over the, the hurdle of finding the right company to work with, yeah. the, the numbers just make sense. Very glad for the introduction because Australian owned and operated company, Geonet, yeah. it just takes that fear away. Yeah. You know, you, you know that you can pick up the phone, you know you can come over here, yeah, yeah. you know, and, and have a look around. That client, he was actually um, of yours and he was also a client of mine. He was on, on my database yep. and he rang up about one of our modular projects. And as you do, just started chatting. Yeah. And he said, you have to speak to, you know, Bali came up and then he mentioned your name and, yeah. you know, two, three weeks later, here I am. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply refinance them. I'm going to take, you know, a, as much of a line of credit against that as I can and use that to fund this property. Because uh, I want to build my portfolio over here. So I may end up setting up a, a, a Balinese company to put yeah. those uh, rental returns yeah. uh, into. Obviously, the tax over here is much lower than much it is lower. in Australia. Um, Bali is obviously one of the top destinations in the world yeah. for, for tourism yeah. and it's only getting bigger and better and you know prices of hotels are only ever going to keep going up hi guys and welcome to another podcast with geonet properties and finance group i'd like to um at least acknowledge, first of all, the setting that we're in right now. We're actually at the Luke, at the Gab's Gastro Bar, famous chef, world-renowned chef, chef to uh, Frank Sinatra, Michael Jackson, Roger Federer. It goes on and on and on. on. The list goes on. But thank you very much uh, to Gab's for the beautiful setting that we're in right now. It's perfect for us. What we're doing here is going to have a look a little bit deeper at some of the actual clientele that we've been attracting into this project and, of course, other projects that... Geonet Property and Finance Group have been lucky enough to secure for investors such as yourself. And I just want to reel off some of the titles or some of the career paths of some of these investors because it's a who's who of investment property gurus. We've got financial planners in this project already. We've got finance brokers, wealth coaches, bank managers, property and wealth creation clubs, Australian real estate developers, Australian real estate agents and principals. We've got property investment gurus, finance broking CEOs and entrepreneurs, and self-managed super fund investors as well. And so I just want you to understand that we're attracting the money that is smart because we're doing things right. And we'd like to make sure that, first of all, you had maybe a first-hand experience and an interview today with Mr. Paul Beek from uh, Duplex Invest over in Australia. Been very, very lucky to come over here with us and basically grill us a little bit because you've got an incredible business model yourself. And I just want to maybe highlight some of the background that you've got. And I think maybe you should introduce yourself and how you became involved in property investment, property development, real estate agent, real estate developer, and also finance broker. So of all of the people that we already have in the club as uh, part of the Luke investment, um, you probably tick off maybe five or six of those boxes. <laughs> Welcome to the yeah. podcast, mate. Yeah, I wear a few different hats in, in what I do, but, it, but it's good. It, it, it really um, allows us uh, to work very professionally yeah. um, with Duplex Invest over in Australia. Um, and like you, you know, our, our clients are quite um, a high net worth individuals yeah. as well. Sophisticated and busy. That's the right. thing. I mean, any type of property development uh, is time consuming. Yeah. Um, and what we do is obviously duplexes, a lot of moving parts. And right. what we offer to our clients is basically one-stop shop. We do absolutely everything for them. Uh, and what we actually say is the most difficult part in dealing with us is actually dealing with your bank because you're going to put more time speaking to your bank and giving them documents, etc., mm. than what you're actually going to be speaking to us because we yeah. take care of absolutely everything for them. But you noticed a niche and you went after it. You've got to be pretty sophisticated yourself to recognize a niche in the market. And as an astute investor, finance broker, uh, property developer, you located an opportunity and you honed in on it. This is why I love the fact that you're here, because I love hearing stories about people who are doing things on the other side uh, over in Australia, back in Australia, um, where Australians and their property and an investment strategy has changed somewhat given the fact of you know higher higher lending rates, higher mortgage rates, 
higher uh, higher uh, valuations, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You went in there and noticed something, and you said, "I'm going all in on it." Mm-hmm. Take me through that. Well, look, we used to do a number of different types of properties. And, I mean, when I say mining towns now, people kind of, you know, stop back. But, you know, 10, 15 years ago, there was no mining bust, you know. So right. so we, we actually did, and we were very successful at our properties over in WA, in, in uh, Port Hedland and South Hedland around there, and also um, Gladstone in, in Queensland. Um, and then, obviously, there was a downturn. Uh, in the mining industry yeah. um, and in those locations we'd done standard houses we'd done some um, apartments uh, and we'd done some duplexes okay. um, as well and when we looked back at um, all of the projects that we've done um, which clients were happiest which clients were coming back to us to go again yeah. it was the duplexes yeah. now they were also the hardest projects that we've had to do right. because you have to find the land, because you have to comply to council. Um, the applications are very involved and time consuming, mm. but we did. Yeah, we saw we saw a niche there, um, and now we do around two hundred and fifty duplexes a year. That's phenomenal. And that's right through Queensland and New South Wales wow. as well. Um, and then we do a few other side projects. We've got a small, um, a few uh, warehouse, commercial villas, those sorts of things. But our bread and butter is obviously the the duplex. Yeah. But you came at it from not only a finance broking background, real estate agent background. You're licensed in... SA Queensland and New South Wales. Which is phenomenal. You're not just uh, somebody who manages a construction team and goes and buys land. Mm -hmm. Um, So you know the journey of the investor very, very well. Yeah. What would be in your portfolio? My portfolio is mainly duplexes, obviously yeah, yeah, now. Yeah. But I've I've still got the first two properties I bought, which were some apartments in South Australia in, in a location called Mawson Lakes. Okay. Um, and I've had them so long that the interest uh, only periods run out, and I'm paying them down. Right. I sort of look at them as um, I've earmarked them. I won't sell those. I think by the time I get to retirement age, or the time my um, son is ready to you know look at buying a first home, those properties will be well and truly paid off. Yeah. So they're my safety net insurance blanket for my my child yeah. um, and then I try and diversify between um, commercial um, as well I do have a few uh, warehouse uh, projects mm. but currently I'm building uh, three duplexes all in New South Wales and a triplex, um, a triplex. As, as well a triplex yeah which is actually just three townhouses but because there's three you know we just it's easy just to say a triplex yeah. um, and they're all actually under construction with the first one of those finishing at the end of this year and that was in uh, Mollymook, which is a, a very interesting location that I was there on, on business to catch up with one of my builders who was uh, based in Kaima, so just yeah. up the road. And it's just a really pretty place. And I really? went, well, we should, we should do something here. It's a beautiful uh, beach location. Mm. And I thought, I wonder what the land's going to get um, realestate.com up out on your phone. And I was expecting blocks to be six, seven, eight hundred. Mm. And they were high twos, low threes. Oh, my God. And wow. uh, this is right before everything went crazy uh, after COVID. And, yeah, we, we probably did, oh, I'm going to say, at least 15 duplex projects through Mollymook and also the neighbouring town of Milton. Land we sort of land had already started to creep up. So we got blocks for around about that three to 350. You can't get a block now. And this is only 18 months later. Wow. For oh, Milton, maybe 550. And Mollymook, they got up to 800. Just the yeah, block. Just the, just the blocks by themselves. I mean, we, we had a number of clients that got in, and don't forget the land was cheaper and, you know, the yeah, bill yeah. prices were a bit cheaper then as well, yeah. for around about that $1 million mark. Yeah. And they easily made between five to 700000 on on those projects. But, you know, it, it was a, a bit of... It was good timing. Like, we, we did pick timing, it. Timing, timing, timing. Right. But also luck as well. Yeah. You know, with that location, uh, we got in at the right time and then things just took off. Uh, and, yeah, now the property is very hard to get there. So we're bringing new um, affordable properties to mm. the market and they get snapped up, you know, either tenanted or, or sold straight away. So a duplex would have how many bedrooms, for example? Our, our normal model is four bedrooms, two bathrooms, so and single nice. garage. Well, yeah. I mean, one of the things that sets us apart from our competitors is the, the size of our plans. When you say your competitors, you're talking other duplex builders. 
or you're talking... Well, there's very few, yeah, actually. Right. Um, but obviously, there are other people in the market that are doing duplexes. And we will generally see our floor plans to be around 50 square metres. So 25 square metres per side larger. Uh, right. And also... 50 square metres larger than most. Than, than what they're building. Yeah, right. correct. Wow. And our facades as well. And look, I, I don't know why, but, you know, when I do see other duplex projects out there, I kind of yawn, you know, with the look yeah. of them. They're very plain Jane. Right. And... It, it doesn't make sense to me because if someone's looking to rent a property or buy a property, they're on realestate.com. Yeah. And what's the first thing they see? The front of the property. It's exactly. what makes people click in the first yeah. instance. Yeah. So we definitely spend a bit more money on our facades. Yeah. But our project pricing compared to our competitors, we're about the same price. But we're, but we're it looks better. Yeah. And it's bigger as, as well. Your build time is something that struck me like a baseball bat to the face. Yeah. Given the fact that you're in Australia. Now, I, I know great build times because, obviously, in Bali, our build times are very, very, very um, efficient. But you've innovated. Well, well, yeah, we definitely have. Um, so we were predominantly just standard construction. Yep. You know, slab, frame, cladding up, you know. Yep. But our build times have already been pretty good. Um, we, we've been doing this for over 10 years now. Mm. So we've got it down to a well-oiled machine. We work with some very, very experienced builders yep. as well. So if you were looking at a single-storey duplex, around about six months build time. A double-storey, you'll probably go up to around seven, eight months. There's just, you know, a little bit more involved in that. Yep. And that's best-case scenario. I know a lot of people that build a, a four-bedroom home and it takes 12 months, you know. Yep. So, so just those build times by themselves are very good. But we've now moved to modular construction. And we're the only yeah. people in Australia that um, can offer that under a HIA building contract. Now, modular construction is just a different way of building, okay? It's just that it's built off-site. When, when I think of modular, I think of containers. Yeah, everyone does. Right? Everyone does. So break that down for me how that's not the case. Well, if you think about any construction... Chop it into four pieces, yep. you know, and build them separately. Put those onto a back of a truck and deliver it to site. That's easier. And the the quality is better because it's right. all in-house. You're not dealing yeah. with trades and contractors. Right. These are PAYG employees, obviously still with a trade background, yeah. but they're there day in, day out. They, they know what they're doing. No one's cutting yeah. corners. Yeah, and then and there's no site mess and all of that and yeah the site's up and pretty quickly well, look, we we do all the um foundation slab etc while the modules are being constructed yeah. in the factory so when they arrive everything's done and the time from bringing the modules to site to being completed is about two to three weeks the whole process is about 15 weeks what? which is so fast which is so fast and so we we aim for 15 weeks but we actually guarantee 20 weeks or we pay your entire mortgage until completion. And we've never had to do that, of course. But it's a, it's a great safety net. Just so you know, and I'm not trying to say greatness recognises greatness. All I'm trying to say is, when it comes to GNET Properties and Finance Group, what we've done to try and make innovations in the investment space, but also work with developers that are innovative and very, 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 very well backed financially, right? So then they're, they're not beginners, as you can see, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, what you've seen here at the Luke is pretty astounding. Oh, it's already. amazing. Um, and the fact that we're getting it out really, really, really quickly. But you've in innovated the investment risk or, or mitigated the risk for the investor who is probably used to a longer construction time and therefore holding on to the baby of the mortgage, yep. paying that mortgage. Um, and you've gone and said, listen, 20 weeks or we'll pay you, or we'll pay your mortgage. Yeah, and our project started a million, you know, so the, yeah. we kind of sit between a one to $1.5 million for that's land and building total. Wow. So if you've um, got to the end of construction, you've got delays, you've got over a million dollars of debt at 7% interest. Yeah. You know, they're, they're big monthly out-of-pocket costs. That's right. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. You know that come 20 weeks, you give us your mortgage statement mm. and we just pay it for you. Yep. That's it. But we've never had to do it. Yeah, but we will if we have to. But if we you, won't if you, have, if, if you ever have to. Yeah, at least at least the investor understands that. Hey, we're mitigating that. It won't happen. We've got no track record of that yeah. happening. But hey, you're safe with us because we want to make sure that you're always comfortable and that you want to go through with this. And you've got a track record. I've I've watched some of your testimonials, and the proof is in the pudding. Mm. And the fact that your clients come back again and again. Are there any client? Well, give me some of the best 
cases of investors in your uh, in your uh, business that have gone in for more than one? Oh, okay. Well, I've, I've got um, a, a brilliant client that actually um, was slightly short of his deposit on the first one. Yeah. Um, so we actually invented something called our Deposit Assist Program, where we will lend a client up to $50,000 interest-free. And when the project is finished, because it's a duplex, it's development profit. So they can sell or refinance and they just pay that back to us. So he, he was one of the first clients that I, I, I rolled that out to. Mm. And I lent him $40,000 on the first one. He obviously paid it back straight away, went into another one. He's now on his fifth project. And he only had to borrow that 40000 once. That was enough to get him into the belief. first project. Well, what an incredible legacy that is, not just for you, but this guy is obviously bringing friends and everybody else as well. That would be the talk at the barbecue, at every barbecue for him. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, and because, and uh, um, you know, I work with other people in finance and things, they go, yeah. why are you lending people money? You should be charging them, you mm. know. And I said, no, because it gets them into the project. Mm. The project is successful. Yeah. And like you just said, they tell their friends. They come back and they, they, they buy another one. So yeah. Luke is, is that gentleman's name. And, yeah, he has referred me a lot of people. So that was a, a, a very good investment of $40,000 for, say, nine months. Yeah, which is kind of uh, – I mean, that, that's, that's the beauty of being in business for the right reasons and doing the right things and also standing behind what you say and walking the talk and talking the walk to the point where you go, I know you're good for it. I know this project is good for it. And here you are five, five properties later, yes. many referrals later, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's a really, really good segue into how we met, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, right? I'll be honest with you. We had never met until this weekend. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, until this weekend. It's now the Saturday. We've been together since Thursday and Friday. But how we met was literally three weeks ago. Mm-hmm. On if the, that. If that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If that, three weeks ago, through a repeat client of ours here at GNet Property and Finance Group here in Bali, one of our clients um, won't mention his name. I don't know if he wants me to mention his name, but either way, a very seasoned investor, a real estate uh, agent, also a property developer, was in cahoots with some great network of his talking about what he's been doing over here in Bali with GNet Property and Finance Group. And yourself, you were there? Well, I'd been looking at Bali for at least 12 months anyway, because I'm, I'm here oh, probably once a year. This is my favourite place to holiday. Yeah. So I'd always been looking at it. But it's that fear, you know, of... Uh, it's it's overseas, mm. um, you know. Uh, I'm very glad for the introduction because Australian owned and operated company, Geonet. Yeah. Y- it just takes that fear away, yeah. you know. You, you you know that you can pick up the phone, you know you can come over here, yeah, you yeah. know, and and have a look around. So, um, yeah. So that that client, he was actually. Um, of yours and he was also a client of mine he was on on my database yep. and he rang up about one of our modular projects and as you do just started chatting yep. and he said you have to speak to, you know barley came up and then he mentioned your name and yep. you know two three weeks later here i am here you are but okay so we can bring we can break that down i mean the power of of word of mouth is it's never business you can't beat it mm. you can't beat it but um that particular investor came over with his wife um, came over with his son. I've met the son. So I'm, I feel like I'm part of that family now. And that's a really, really good feeling to be able to be in a project together with somebody who independently checked all of my stats, didn't take any word that I was talking for uh, the oath, questioned me about a few things and said, actually, you're right. This particular style of property, uh, of property investment is very, very lucrative. And it's on the rise and on the rise and on the rise. And was very impressed, obviously, here at the Luke as well. So you're now part of the family here at the Luke. I am. Villa D. There's no more Villa A's. There's no more Villa C's. There's only Villa D and uh, Villa B left. Mm -hmm. And so you've bought into Villa D. You came and saw it. You've seen the Luke. Give us your whole impression of what this as a as an entire compound, as an entire facility sort of offers you? And where were the bells ringing? Um, uh, well, obviously, I'd seen the loop with the information that you sent through to me already, and yeah. I was very impressed with uh, the layout, the design, uh, obviously incorporating, you know, such a beautiful restaurant, which is going to bring people in, but the location as, yeah, okay. as well. Now, we, we went to Finn's for, for lunch the other day, yeah. 
And that place is crazy. That's yeah. just that's, so that's much unbelievable. But Great you know, food. five thousand people a day yeah. going through there, and there's there's no five star accommodation or very very little yeah. amount of accommodation. So you just know that this place is probably going to have you know twenty five fifty percent of the people that are staying here to go there, that's and right. and that's only getting bigger uh, yeah. as as well. So um, for the location and obviously any type of investment, you want it to be future proof. Yeah. You know, and I I just looked at this and went, yeah, that's. That's, yeah. that's where I'd stay, you know? That's and, right. And that was the thing. Which is interesting because a, a lot of people, when they associate to Bali, just because maybe they've been coming here for many, many, many years, they haven't necessarily stayed in all of the areas, but they also may have stayed at budget or four-star type of accommodation. For you, it's nothing less than five-star where you go. <laughs> nothing <laughs> less than five-star. You sound five like a snob. <laughs> no, I don't. No, no, you're successful. Five-star is what you want to do. Yeah. Are you busy? Well, that's the thing. Time is precious. Time you is know? precious. So for me, if I'm, if I'm going away, and really the only time I can go away is over the Christmas break yeah. because that's when the builders and the solicitors shut down. So yep. I've really had to shuffle my schedule just to be here for five days. I want to make the most of it. You know, yeah. I want to stay somewhere nice. I want all the... You want to treat facilities. yourself. Yeah. You've got a beautiful new fiancé and she's loving it over here as well. And that's what it's all about, being able to tap out in pure luxury. Um, You've been here to Gab's. You haven't tasted the menu, but you will be. Tonight. Tonight. Tonight, tonight you're yeah. going back, right? It blows your mind a little bit that Gab, as a, as a chef for more than 50 years, is available in the villas for private chefing and for, for private uh, meals and for parties, etc. as well. Um, I can't wait till you taste this menu. Mm, neither can I. And I can't wait for your beautiful uh, fiancé to taste it and give us, our, uh, give us the feedback as well. But there are a huge contingent of um, tourists that come here that money isn't, isn't an object. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I'm not saying that these are overpriced at all. But we have been known to be very, very conservative on our nightly rental forecasts. For the sake of the investor and also for the sake of when we're simulating the return of investment for for a client. I never want to be that guy who promised something and wasn't able to deliver it. And so we, we turned the numbers and we're safe at 18% in the most conservative numbers, net return, mm-hmm. which you're going to enjoy. But you're also going to enjoy a far better opportunity because you're going to be staying here a few nights at least maybe oh, a week yeah. um, per, per year. Um, the beauty of this is we've been told by Tui Blue, the actual management company, that we are possibly 50% more conservative than what they know that they can get for nightly room rates. And I know you're paying about two grand a night where you are. Yeah. We've, we've done calculations sub $1,000 per night in some of these villas. Um which is doubled at just your villa. Yeah. We're in, a, in a five. So it's and it's, it's, they're bigger and they're nicer over much here as, as well. Nicer. Yeah. That's right. That's right. A much newer in, in, and in a place where there are no other five-star options. Yeah, exactly. Right. So um, for our marketing and for our due diligence, we know that we have to be in that higher echelon of um, meticulously curated and uh, chosen properties. Mm-hmm. A five-star hotel like this with all the facilities just becomes, as I can tell you, financial planners are in here, financial brokers are in here, wealth cre- uh, wealth coaches, bank managers, wealth creation clubs. Doesn't surprise you, does it? No, not at all. No, nah, because it, it, it makes sense. Yeah. You know, once you can get over the, the hurdle of finding the right company to work with, yeah. the, the numbers just make sense. That's right. You know, it, it's it's a it's a 18% return is Conservative. Phenomenal. And conservatively phenomenal. And that's net. Yeah. Right. No, it, it, it's unbelievable. What were some of your main questions? Or if you're, if you're I mean, you're, you're now already an investor, but what can you see were some of the main things that we, or the main uh, questions that you were wanting to fire at us as an investor first, but then also as a partner soon, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. 
What were some of those questions? Well, the first thing for me, because I was looking to purchase, was how am I going to pay for it? Because obviously you yeah. can't lend money o- o- over here. Um, and we did touch on uh, one of our uh, duplex projects in Mollymook. Now, I purchased one of those myself. I was one of the first to actually get in there. Yeah. Um, and you know, look, my clients know I, I, I discuss my figures because people want to know. So I got that project, uh, I think it was just a touch over a million dollars. Mm-hmm. And each unit has just been valued at 1.1. So on that single project, I've made a, a million dollar plus development profit. Now, obviously, there's tax yeah, well in there. Done. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply refinance them. I'm going to take you know a, as much of a line of credit against that as I can and use that to fund this property. So yeah. for me, that was the, the main thing. You know, I, I knew I wanted to purchase, but I had to figure out how. Yeah. Um, uh, and, it, and it's easy, you know. It's it's, it's basically like having a loan mm. over here, but it's just securing it against your Australian property. We call like, it equity release. Yeah, refinancing a uh, line of credit, whatever it is. Spot on. So, what would you do with this money that's coming in? Well, I'm going to have a chat to your um, accountants mm. <laughs> in the not too distant future because uh, I want to build my portfolio over here. So I may end up setting up a, a Balinese company to put yep. those uh, rental returns yep. uh, into. Obviously, the tax over here is much lower than much it is lower. in Australia. Yep. Um, and essentially, I can have that account, which would pay the mortgage on the Australian property, which yep. is securing this, yep. let those funds build up. And then allow that to, you know, fund future investments as, as, as well. Fantastic. What would you say to investors if I wasn't looking at you dead in the eye? What would you be saying to your investors right now about what your experience is? Um, that's a good question. If they, if it's if exciting. I'd, I'd say exciting is, right. is, is probably what I would, uh, the, the word I'd put it down to. Because um, Bali is obviously one of the top destinations in the world yeah. for, for tourism yeah. and it's only getting bigger and better and you know prices of hotels are only ever going to keep going up yeah. so if you are looking to diversify your portfolio and I, I I truly believe in having a diversified portfolio mm-hmm. obviously my bread and butter is duplexes but I have got more than that in my portfolio yeah, you know and this is just another um, feather that feather to the boat yeah. for me as well so very exciting and they've also got the opportunity to come over meet with you and see the sites as yeah. well it's not like they're clicking this on a website and you know you don't know what it is yeah come over it's yeah. what was it yeah. a six hour flight for me it was yeah. easy yeah the fractional part of our business the fractional part of our sales and the way that we actually break properties down into bite-sized pieces i think that's what a lot of my clients will do what do you th- what do you think of that model i think it's fantastic um especially if you just want to dip your toe in and yeah. see if it works so um my prediction is um because look uh, like I said, we've only been speaking for three weeks, but in between that call and being over here, I've actually spoken to some other clients and said, oh, I'm going to Bali, this is what I'm doing. And, you know, I've got at least five people that are waiting for me to come back because they've been wanting to do something similar, yeah, you know. Right. And I, I really think that what a lot of clients will do is probably go fractional to start off with, yeah. you know, for as little as 50,000. Yeah. Um, and then just wait. Just just check the bank balance, yeah. you know. Um, check the build times, you know. Did all of that come through yep. yes it did all right well now let's go and buy the full apartment or the full villa yeah i think that's probably what a lot of people will do because it makes sense yeah um but i know there's others out there that um have been looking to get into projects like this for ages mm. but just have been scared yep. you know so I, I think there's definitely going to be people that are going to go no nah, well if you've done it paul and you've gone over there and done all the research sign me up right right but we don't want you just to take his word for it you can always refer to any of our on of, of our um Materials. Our online presence is very, very. Um, I guess I, you, I would say we're thorough. Oh, exceptionally. And even when we were um, looking at the villa the other day with the phone and the augmented reality, and so you, you can know, see where you're at. That everything. was just stunning. It was perfect. Yeah. It was uh, yeah, it was, like frame by frame, perfect, and yeah, seamless. Yeah. So we we just want Australians to know that. The process for buying property over here can be seamless as it is in your native country, right? And even more so, we have a, an incredible team to back you up. Not only are we uh, ex-hoteliers, real estate agents, investors, mortgage brokers, lawyers, accountants, all of those services are rolled into one within our experience and for our investors. So we are more of an investment hub. Yep. And it's a wonderful, wonderful thing that we're building here. It's very exciting. I'm glad that somebody as excited as you can come over here and um, 
you know, I guess not just, I don't need re, uh, I don't need to reaffirm it, but I get more excited when I see investors like you and partners like you come over and see it because I respect you. I totally respect you. I respect the way that you go about your business. It's phenomenal. The fact that we were introduced by sophisticated investors. Yeah. Okay. Just reaffirms that we're both on the right path. Our investors are on the right path and they're the core of our business, wouldn't you say? 100%. 100%. And look, being over here and meeting yourself, but not just you, I've met, what, 20, 30 of your team. Yeah. You know, I've met developers. I've I've been to the sites. I've seen it. You you know, you are not a small company. And the the great thing is, because I do it as well, is it's all internal. You know, you're not outsourcing. Uh, You know, you've got your internal accounts, lawyers and everything. They're all there. But even the renders, the design, you've got your own graphic designers Mm. in-house. It's it's, it's a a very, very impressive setup. There you have it, Paul. I really appreciate you. No, thank you so much. And and I'm really looking forward to um, extending the same invite to all of your investors that are going to come over here. and, And hopefully we can have something for them. Um, and grow their portfolio over here as well. And, and your seal of approval really means the world to us. Uh, we're looking forward to working with you, but also welcome to the family as an investor. And I just want to make sure that you guys who are watching, uh, from wherever you're watching, go and check out uh, duplexinvest.com.au, Mr. Paul Beeg. And also, if you want to, interact directly with him because you are setting up a beautiful shop. Yeah, smack bang right in the main section of Surface Paradise, Cavern Wall as well. So that'll be a display suite slash office. When's that? Um, probably towards the end of this year. There's a, there is a tenant in the space at the moment. So mm. their lease doesn't run out until October. Okay. So we're still, still working that out, but not too far away now. So that's perfect. So um, you'll be able to go and visit uh, Paul Beak and the team, mm-hmm. uh, Duplex Invest, but also to be soon bringing Bali investors. 100%. Straight from there. So you can come and visit us, obviously, over here. We now work in conjunction with Duplex Invest. We're very proud of that partnership. We'd be very, very proud to be an extended arm of your company as you are an extended arm and and great partner. Uh, Here's to the rest of the evening. Yes. Because we're going to be staying here for, we're going to be having some, uh, some dinner tonight. And I just want to make sure that when you come over, Give us a little bit of a time, maybe a week or two, to get things prepared for you. We'd love to take you out for dinner. Sit right here and taste a 10-course menu from our, uh, our chef, Gabriel Frattini. And we'd love to discuss wh- where you're actually at with your investment portfolio, what you'd like to do, what your comfort level is with price points, and, and really work that into a, a sophisticated strategy where you can see your wealth growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. And, growing. and let's face it, cash flow is king, right? 18%. 18%. <laughs> and I'll leave it there. Thanks for tuning in. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on YouTube. Come and visit us or uh, at least come and uh, launch an inquiry. You can book me directly on, on Calendly through the website. I'd love to speak to you personally. Thanks very much for tuning in. 